previously on Max Keeble's Big Move Petition Update Year 3. What? Hello, I'm Chris Peterson, businessman and entrepreneur. And welcome back to Max Keeble's Big Move Petition Update Year Four. That's right, we've been doing this for four long years. And I know last year, I left everyone here with a bit of uncertainty on who was knocking at my door. Who was it? What did they have to say? Well, guess what? Once that camera cut, I stood up, went to that door and opened it up, and a Rotten Tomatoes employee was standing there looking at me. And my mind started racing. I said, wow. Is this it? Is this what I've been fighting for the last four years? Is my hard work paying off? Is this person going to say, Hey, Chris Peterson, guess what? Here at Rotten Tomatoes, we saw your petition. We saw your videos. We saw all that stuff for you beating up that bear who's now dead. And it's not your fault. You definitely didn't kill that bear. That bear definitely died of uh, its own, you know, natural stuff. And we also saw Oprah tweet out the petition once or twice back in 2017. And guess what? We're going to re-review Max Keeble's big move. We're going to give it a higher rating than 29% this time. That's what I thought. That's what I thought they were going to say. But I was wrong. I was very wrong. Because so what they gave me was this. An envelope. And inside this envelope was a cease and desist letter. Yep, Ron Tomatoes is trying to legally silence me now. Ron Tomatoes is legally trying to silence you too. He's trying to silence all 69 of you who signed the petition with me. And that's not right. But I don't know what to do this time. Every year I have an answer. Every year, I know what to do, I know what to say, I know who to fight, I know what moves to do on them, but this year, I'm lost. How do you fight a corporation like Rotten Tomatoes in a legal battle? I don't have the money, I don't have a legal team, and uh, truthfully, I don't have the backing that I used to have either. You know, I look back to four years ago, 2017 when I first started this, and I looked at all the faces who surrounded me and supported me, who were ready to fight, who were determined, who had willpower to let me lead them to the promised land of Max Keeble having a better review. And I look at those faces now, in 2021. I look. And I see no one. I only see myself. And I wonder where all those faces went. I wonder why they left. I wonder why they left me. To talk into the void. Into nothingness. You know, I think maybe, maybe they got tired of waiting. Maybe they got tired of me telling them that every year, just wait, one more thing. I just got to do this, you got to do this. We're going to have Rotten Tomatoes in the palm of our hands. We're going to get that review. And I guess they got tired. And I guess they grew up. And they left me to simmer in the past. Now, when I'm facing my biggest challenge yet, I'm alone. I'm alone. I have no one to help me. I have no one to ask questions to when I need guidance. I have no one. 
and it makes me think maybe I should let Ron Tomatoes silence me. Maybe I should let them win. Maybe I should move on. Maybe I should grow up. Maybe. Maybe.